welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about the new Extreme Edition on the block, the 3970X. It's basically like a 3960X, except even faster. This bad boy has six physical cores, 12 logical cores. It is clocked 200 megahertz higher than the older 3960X and comes in at exactly the same price. It also has 15 megabytes of cache. So I mean, for context, it wasn't that long ago that I owned a computer system that had 32 megs of system RAM and like a 100 meg hard drive or whatever it was around that time. Like it's just mind boggling how far we've come in the last little while. Now for professionals where you're doing 3D rendering or high-end video or photo editing, you're gonna love the cores, you're gonna love the threads, it's gonna benefit you every day. If you're strictly a gamer, you might still wanna look at something like a K-series processor on LGA 1155. LGA 1155 has a couple of disadvantages though, four memory slot limit versus eight memory slots on LGA 2011. It also is limited to 8X and 8X mode for dual PCI Express slots for SLI or Crossfire, unless you're using high-end uh, bridge chips that are gonna add more lanes, sort of like virtual lanes. But if you want raw bandwidth, dual 16X slots, X79 and LGA 2011 is the way to go. You're always gonna be limited to four cores on LGA 1155 versus 2011, whereas this is a six core processor, which is obviously more better. So, how does it perform compared to the old Extreme Edition at exactly the same price? I guess we shall see. Time to take a pretty CPU demanding scenario on our test bench, which has 16 gigs of RAM, a 7970 graphics card, a boot SSD, as well as an ASUS P9X79 Deluxe Motherboard. We're gonna have a whole whack load of units going like at each other for a while, and we're gonna bring you guys the results. As with all Extreme Edition processors, going back to the very beginning of Extreme Editions, this chip is fully unlocked, overclocking optimized, and is just begging to have liquid cooling put on it and more performance extracted from it, uh, from all six cores of its awesomeness. So we let our test finish, we see a 10% performance improvement going from a 3960X to a 3970X. You might say, well Linus, 10% isn't very much, to which I would reply, well if you don't already own a 3960X, I mean I really don't think Intel expects anyone to upgrade from a 3960X to a 3970X, but if you're upgrading from a couple generations ago platform, then I see no problem with a free 10% performance upgrade versus if they hadn't released the 3970X. Next graph is W prime. So the 3970X again is about 5% faster than the 3960X. So guys, to be clear, this is an extreme edition processor. This is not a value oriented option. This is for people who just want the fastest of the fastest, cost be damned. And if you are one of those people, then this chip is faster than the old one, which is pretty much all you needed to know. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of, well, we don't do these every week, but this episode of NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.